Uh, thank you all for being here today. The New Orleans Police Department is announcing that this morning, the suspect of interest who was published last night by the local media, and thank you for doing so so quickly, turned himself in to police headquarters. Very soon thereafter, he was interviewed. He is a 15-year-old kid. During this interview, he admitted with detail his role in this recent horrible, violent crime that occurred on 8th Street. He has confessed. At this time, we are seeking search warrants and arrest warrants for other co-perpetrators. At the moment I can tell you who they are, I will. Because this is a 15-year-old suspect who's been arrested until he appears before a juvenile court and has a probable cause here, and I cannot release his name, so please don't ask. I want to thank our police department, our community, our friends at Crime Stoppers, and Detective Derek Williams, who is the lead detective in this case from our rape crime unit. I also want to thank the Louisiana State Police Crime Lab, particularly its director, Joni Wilson, who worked with us so very closely, and the mayor will share more with you about that future and our current relationship. This was a ruthless, treacherous, cruel, violent attack. But I cannot tell you how grateful I am to the family of this young man who turned himself in this morning. His family saw his picture. His family brought him in today to be held accountable for his crimes. That is how we turn the tide on crime in this city. Families looking to take care of their children and hold them responsible. I have talked to District Attorney Leon Canizaro today. We are pursuing with vigor a case that may be transferred to the adult court. As a result of this, this young man and any other co-perpetrators as arrested could be tried in adult court at Mr. Canizaro's direction where they may receive upwards of 50 to 60 year sentences for this crime. In the near future, we hope to announce to you that another arrest has been made and any other information that we can give you, we will give you. Before I take any questions, I'd like to ask Mayor Landry to say a few words. I stand here today to say that the crime that was committed on Monday in our city is unacceptable and won't be tolerated in the city of New Orleans. I've spent a lot of time since becoming mayor to help focus the city's attention on the murder that occur on the streets between young African-American men who are killing young African-American men who know each other with guns. But I want to make clear that this city, our neighborhoods, and this police department take very seriously crimes against women and against children. Reducing violent crime and murder and making New Orleans safe is and will continue to be our number one priority. The New Orleans Police Department has worked aggressively and around the clock to investigate this case. And Chief, I want to thank you uh, and all of the men and women of the New Orleans Police Department for all of the incredible work uh, that they have done. I also want to thank all of the citizens who have called into Crime Stoppers. Again, we have to all do this together or we're not going to succeed. In the past two and a half years, we have worked very hard to stand up the New Orleans Police Department Crime Lab. And in partnership with the Louisiana State Police and Colonel Edmondson is here today and Joni Wilson who runs that lab, we have eliminated a two and a half year backlog of sexual assault kits. And because we did so, we have prosecuted people that thought they got away. And we used the State Police Crime Lab to identify DNA that assisted us in this effort. I also want to thank the police officers of the 6th District, the task force, especially uh, Detective Derek Williams and NOPD's Rape Investigations Unit. I also want to thank the Garden District Security Patrol who helped us and the neighbors in the Garden District. The arrests that are being made and the warrants are being issued because of good, smart detective work and because members of the community and members of the family, all of us came together to say that we're not going to tolerate heinous acts like this in the city of New Orleans. Our police department is working every day to keep the citizens safe. We have to have a criminal justice system that is responsive, that works, and this one clearly did today. So, Chief, thank you and thank the men and women of NOPD, Crime Stoppers, citizens, uh, and the family members for uh, helping us bring these young men in. A tragic set of circumstances all the way around. We're talking about juveniles here. The crimes will not, of this nature are not going to be tolerated in the city of New Orleans.